Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt and this is my wife, Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching episode two of Reacher. What'd you think of the last episode? I really enjoyed the first episode. Yeah. Um, I think there's a good mixture of like some comedy elements, obviously the drama, maybe a little bit of romance. And I feel like Jack Reacher is extremely likable. Yeah, he's uh, not just some giant idiot too. Mm -hmm. He's incredibly smart. I don't know exactly what someone said, but it was something like Sherlock Holmes plus, I don't know, the Hulk or something. I don't know. <laughs> I think I think the second part was different, but it's, it's impressive how he can kind of pick apart the scenes already. Um, I mean, he was almost immediately able to figure out that there was three killers that were after, not just one. Mm -hmm. um, so I like that there's all of these different aspects, kind of like you said. Yeah. The, action, romance, comedy, really intelligent, figuring out the case and stuff, which we love to try to figure out cases. Yeah. So I think it was a pretty strong start and I'm definitely excited to see more. Yeah, me too. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Instagrams, Twitch, or Twitter, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the episode. This music. Reacher, Reacher, get back here. I mean, his brother's dead. I don't need 250 pounds of frontier justice tearing up this town. <laughs> I would like that. I'm sure he doesn't ruin our case. Why me? <laughs> Outside the morgue, he actually listened to you. And what if he doesn't now? Shoot him. <laughs> I mean, I did like how he did listen to her. Mm -hmm. It was just like tiny little. <laughs> <laughs> At least he's not hard to spot. <laughs> right, stands out. Where does he start though? I wonder if you would go to where the body was found. Maybe. Uh-oh. Yeah, did Shorty lose him? Yeah. I mean, I'm sure he knew he was being followed. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> don't need a babysitter, and I don't need you screwing up my investigation. If you were very good at it, you wouldn't have been trying to follow a man on foot in a police car. <laughs> and now I can either follow you the whole way, or I can save the shoe leather and get in the damn car. <laughs> Fine. Fine. <laughs> Guess it is a long walk. For the record, I'm not a vagrant. I'm a hobo. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference? I just genuinely don't know. <laughs> but at least now I get a chance to thank you, Mr. Reacher. It's just Reacher. I assume that's why you're here with bank stuff? No. My brother was murdered. <laughs> Straight to it. Why my dead brother had your live husband's number on him. <laughs> She's like... Hello, Hello, Mr. Mr. Reacher. Reacher. Hello, Mr. Reacher. Mr. Reacher. <laughs> it's just Reacher. <laughs> <laughs> the hell is growing like a weed? She's the one with the glasses. May I use your restroom? Yeah, of course. What did glasses spark? Yeah, the music like fully changed. Oh, he's a music fan as well. So maybe he was close with his brother. And was he there? Uh-oh. We've taken up enough of your time. Have a nice evening, Roscoe. <laughs> well, guess we're going. <laughs> yeah, she knows something. Yeah, she seemed nervous. Glasses was absolute. One wears them, one doesn't. And? Their instructions were clearly to find the new boys and take out the one in glasses. Hubble's on the runner, they've already got him. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> that took way too long. <laughs> they grow in tall grass all around here. We call them hitchhikers because they stick on you and they go for a ride. They grow when my brother was killed. Yeah, that's not a good sign if he mm -hmm. was there. I was thinking of the first time they were in the jail cell with the glasses. I was like, he still had the glasses on, but it was in the bathroom. Yeah. Scene. Still some reason they were on his laces. No pick up hitchhikers in bank hallways. Killer was a skilled marksman. Gun had a silencer on him, which makes even close range work inaccurate, but he got a kill shot. Heard someone coming up behind him, tried to turn to him in the head before he could do anything about it. Two days ago, Moon would have been about 26 degrees further west. What? <laughs> this area would have been darker. You enjoyed it. Maybe it was personal. If someone takes your life, it's always personal. Fair. Man, he's just ripping through this. Last time we spoke, he was working in Homeland Security. That's interesting. Guns, border crimes. What department was your brother in? Don't know. I'm sure he had some enemies. Find a motel. I'll give you a ride. <laughs> Don't want one. That was a lot. Yeah. I gotta be way more prepared for him to just analyze everything. <laughs> cool. Just bang, bang, bang. <laughs> Mister, why don't you come here? We want to talk to you. 
No, you don't. <laughs> Gave him a warning. What kind of bullshit you bring into our town? What? What are you guys doing? If he's a murderer. <laughs> Rich guy in a fancy pickup with a 50 in each of your pockets to take care of me. Honored. Oh, jeez. Oh my god, he's giving you multiple warnings. Ugh. Oh, Graham. <laughs> I'm just gonna break the hands of three drunk kids. There's four of us here. One of you's gotta drive to the hospital. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I don't know where the hospital him. is. <laughs> oh, that one break was gross. I know where the hospital <laughs> is. Mm, turning off headlights is yeah. never good. Is this that guy's house? I think so. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Four of them. Yeah, not three. So did we conclude that the banker guy was there and a part of it? He may have been. I don't think it was a for sure. Okay. Can I help you? Nope. <laughs> I must have knocked the bowl over because I gave him water this morning. Oh, you didn't? Oh, it was bone dry. Call him me a liar? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is he going to get a dog? Good boy. Yeah, that <laughs> might be his dog soon. He's making a name for himself in this town. Uh -oh. Uh oh. That family might be in trouble. I can't talk right now. There's been another murder. Police Chief Morrison. Ooh. For the record, I didn't do it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> He's just coming along. She's not Last even going to argue. wanted to go everywhere with me. <laughs> what did they do to the chief? Baker won't talk about it. Just keep the looky loos away, right? Oof. I mean, they threatened uh, the one banker guy pretty aggressively. Like, made him eat his own balls and stuff. You should only keep an eye on him. I keep an eye on him. Look, there he is. <laughs> Was he nailed to a wall? Oh, did you know that? I mean, that's the threat the banker got. Yeah. I don't know how graphic this show is about to be. The fight scenes are pretty brutal, but not... It's not a lot of gore. No. Subject has been nailed to Okay, the pretty graphic. With six spikes. The laceration to the left. Ew. Jeez. Oh, three people killed my brother. At least four to do that to a guy Morrison size. His fucking balls are gone. Where the heck are his testicles? In his stomach. You'll find him during the autopsy. Oh my god. Is that his wife? Yeah, I assume that's his wife dead on the ground. You said Hubble didn't tell you anything in jail. I lied. My brother didn't trust more grave cops enough to tell you he was tracking something down here. Why should I? Maybe he was dirty. Think Maybe. real hard before you finish that sentence. It'll determine how well your jaw works the rest of your life. <laughs> oh, God. I was working with the same killers Hubble was mixed up with. That or we just saw a big fat coincidence nailed to the wall. Yeah, he had to be dirty. Baker wouldn't go into the bathroom with me at the station house. Baker wasn't concerned because he knew you didn't do it, which means he knows who did. Why does a black cop from Boston with a 20-year pension come work in a southern backwater town in the middle of nowhere? Yeah, kind of suspicious. Whoever's running this had Morrison under his thumb. No one sits in the chief's chair unless they're under it, too. They skipped you to get to Teal. Wow. So he's so good. I guess that means he's dirty and yeah. you're okay. <laughs> Nothing means more to me than your vote of confidence. <laughs> well, you checked out. And your jaw is safe. <laughs> Teal's first order was no stadies, no feds. He wants us kept in house. Of course he does. We'll let him think they've got it under control for now. There's no we here. <laughs> I don't know. You'd be pretty lost without Reacher. You can't go it alone. There's only we here. You don't see that? I'll find whoever killed Joe on my own. Especially if all the other cops are dirty, pretty yeah. much. Came down south for peace and quiet. Now I've caught four bodies. Five. Hubble, probably. Let's go. On my way there now. Oh, yeah, crap. Yeah, don't know where he is. <sighs> She's still fine. He had to speak to some people about sorting out this bank madness, and when I woke, I realized he'd never come home. Is he one of those four guys? He has never once not come home. Or is he dead? If you see anyone under 6'5", come near this house. Shoot him. <laughs> you want to give me your gun? <laughs> Worth a shot. I have appointed myself chief of police. But what the hell do you know about law enforcement? Yeah. We need us a real police chief and a real chief detective, too. How about that big guy? <laughs> oh, what about that animal you rested out on the diner? I think she's talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all had him in jail. Why'd you let him go? Oof. Please. Who's this down. guy, huh? Down. One of the victims was Mr. Reacher's brother, Joseph. Why does this guy know everything? I have faith in our new chief of police, Mayor Teal. Find whomever is responsible for these heinous acts. 
It's definitely this guy. <laughs> Seems very suspicious. And everybody is like gung ho behind him. Yeah. Is that his dad? Yeah. He's clearly the guy who owns all the money. And yeah. Nothing happens in this town without his approval. Right. These killings are not related. Track down the biggest scumbags he ever arrested. That's how you're going to find his killer. Those are your orders. Police officer was crucified. It's nice to know who, at least I feel like we know who the corrupt cops are and the villains are. Just sent me off to chase my tail. Told you he's dirty. Competence can look like malevolence, and it's a whole lot more common. <laughs> Guys with the kind of money and power Kleiner wields are rarely angels. Give us cover while we work the real angles. They're handing out assignments now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they need protection, even if Hubble's already dead. My uh, FBI buddy, I'll call you when it's set up. I don't have a phone. Get one. <laughs> can we trust Picard? Gave me the best advice I ever got. Don't take the Margrave job. <laughs> yeah, I think you can trust him. Unless he knows what's going on in Margrave already. My condolences for your brother. It was my understanding you were just passing through. You understood wrong. Margrave's such a nice town. <laughs> Not so much lately. Ooh. Yeah. That shifted. You looking for payback? Payback? Justice, vengeance, looking for the whole gang. Two fellas come by my shop asking about you. It didn't seem all that friendly. Huh. Are you worried about me, Mr. Mosley? Worried about my bottom line. <laughs> you might need another shave before you leave town. Very true. Doesn't want to lose a customer. Aw, I like Mr. Mosley. The agent named Picard is on his way. Picard will keep you safe. That's what your husband would have wanted. Why are you talking about him in the past tense? Oh, uh, yeah. We have to assume Paul's dead. There'll be time to grieve later. You have to think about your kids. Oof. Jeez. That was harsh. Yeah, he's got to work on his bedside manner. Hey! You boys looking for a dance partner? You think you can take all of us? Let's find out. He's always looking for a fight. I mean, this was the car that was around last episode. Ooh. It's hard to tell, but... It's not safe anymore. Let's go. I'm not ready. Let's go now. I'm Picard. Oof. Like how you just took Roscoe's gun. I told you I need my own gun. <laughs> Man, I really hope this guy's clean. I know. I have a bad feeling. So I'm going to take a few personal days, watch the family myself. Finley and I are tight. We ain't that tight. I mean, even if this guy's clean, I feel like he's in a lot of danger. Yeah, by himself. I told him not to take this job. <laughs> okay, I kind of trust him, but I feel like, yeah, he's gonna... He's unprepared. Right, because he has no backup and no one knows what he's doing. I'm gonna go see that guard Spivey at Warburg. He won't tell you anything. Depends on how I ask. <laughs> Breaks both his hands. <laughs> Chief Detective Finley, Margrave PD, calling on account of Jack Reacher. Is there somewhere we can meet up? That was easy. See you there, jackass. <laughs> you know, I never met Detective Finley. And you sure as hell don't sound like a black man from Boston on phone. <laughs> Adios. Damn, if only he had a gun. He does have oh, a knife. is that the same car? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Let's go. Is he gonna fit in the trunk? And these are the two Spanish speaking guys? Mmm. It's too small. It'll be uncomfortable. Well, a smart move would be to shoot me right here, but you haven't done that yet. Maybe you have orders to take me to your boss so we can find out how much I know. It means that when I make my move, you're going to hesitate. He who hesitates... God. Oh. <laughs> knife against knife. This guy's holding up pretty well. Oof. Oh my God. Where's the gun? Stop where you are! Just let this guy get into his car? Yeah, I guess. That went terrible. Or rental cars in the entire state. <laughs> beat up. It didn't go as planned. <laughs> you need stitches. No, I don't. Just glue it? Super glue it is. <sighs> no suspects from the Blue Cat Brawl were apprehended. Maybe next time, don't pull something like this by yourself. I shoved a pole as far up my ass as I could. I still couldn't sound like you. <laughs> Probably military or ex-military. Yeah, they stood up pretty well. If they weren't, I would have killed them within 10 seconds. 
Yeah. From a martial art called Ricey. Hardly anyone uses except branches of South American special forces. <laughs> now hired muscle. Not running the show. Your brother could have been involved in almost anything. Counterfeiting? The money's at the root of every crime there is. It's true. I figure people usually get hurt when they're looking into something others don't want them to. What's he doing? Fixing his jacket or something? <laughs> Since his boss's feet screw up their own testicles, my guess is he's gotten out of Dodge for a while. Oh, yeah. I'll chase it down then and handle it myself. Go get some rest. I'm getting a beer. Absolutely not. <laughs> Come after you like Frankenstein. Frankenstein was the doctor. <laughs> Details matter. Or I can arrest you for vagrancy and you can sleep in my holding cell. He's not a vagrant. He's a hobo. <laughs> <laughs> Details matter. Make sure he goes straight back to the motel. Her job is just to watch him now. In the past few days, you lost one brother and had four fights. If anybody needs a drink, it's you. There's a roadhouse. Nobody knows you there. Cold beer. Well, you gotta behave. She's like, please. <laughs> okay. Sounds like a date. We gotta stop by a gas station and get you a t-shirt with a little less blood on it. <laughs> hey, isn't that your guy? Blake? Yeah. I have a feeling he's still probably gonna somehow get into a fight. <laughs> it's not a twist off. A neat trick. They're playing Patsy. You gotta dance. Practically the law. I don't dance. When I ask people to dance, it usually precedes a lot of punching. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Frankenstein's monster. Oh wow, two hands. <laughs> Honestly, was surprised she could reach his shoulders. <laughs> right. I like that. That was, just, that was sweet. Yeah. And nothing happened. No. Look at this. Oh no. Hey, take a beat, champ. I say go, you duck. State trooper. Yeah. How much reach do these people have? Road east to the highway footage. No one's getting through tonight. Hey, Motel, you're here. Sorry, I didn't have anything in my truck or something. Paint tarp or circus tent. I got a sampling from the vending machine. <laughs> you always eat this well? Didn't think room service would deliver this late. Room service. <laughs> no matter where we were at the time, Joe and I could always find a clock bar. I wonder what a Clark bar is. I don't know, gotta try one. Spicy Cajun crotators. <laughs> there you go. I'll take a Clark bar. I would still try it. <laughs> My family's been here since the town was founded. Conklin's built this town, Teal stole it. My parents died when I was a kid. I had gray. Kinda like a second dad. Taught me everything I know about being a cop. He was depressed a lot. Hung himself from the rafters in his garage. Jeez. Daisies are my favorite. What about you? Snapdragons, cool name, hard to kill. Yeah, that sounds like somebody I know. <laughs> it's been nice getting to know you. Aww. Night Ranger. Both pretty lonely people. Good night, Roscoe. Oh no. <laughs> Someone get him a gun. <laughs> Good thing she wasn't home. Yeah, right? I'm worried about the detective, though. And we still don't know where Paul is. All clear. Clear. Rubber overshoes. They're gonna kill me? Could have been here for me. My car was parked out front. I don't know. Both of them? Yeah. Oh, okay. Looks like they plan on coming back. I'm really gonna need a gun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. That was episode two of Reacher. What'd you think? That was great. Yeah, another super strong episode. Yeah, I am still really liking Reacher. I'm liking all the relationships that are being built, obviously with Roscoe, but also kind of his banter with the de lead detective. Right. There's just a lot of cool stuff going on. And obviously from all of the films that we've watched, I love like the crime mystery aspect to a lot of stuff. And Reacher is quick. <laughs> yeah, that's probably the fastest. Like he just blows through things. And it's especially when he was talking about like the glasses thing. I was like, why did that spark something in him? And then even how quickly he explained it, I was still like, what? Like yeah. trying. Because I was thinking of uh, how Paul had the glasses on in the jail cell. Mm -hmm. And I, that's why I was like, he still had the glasses. But then my brain wasn't fast enough to remember that in the bathroom, Reacher had the shades on and that Paul had nothing. Yeah. So they were just going after Paul the whole time. Right. And very interesting. Now we're going to have to take a closer look at things as they're happening because everything's important. Yeah, details matter, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, it's definitely stepping up way past just, you know, Reacher being this badass who just kicks people's butts and kills people. Yeah. Um, he really 
has the intelligence to just look at every little detail and figure out where to go next. I mean, all the way down to the little tiny piece of the bush or whatever right. on Paul's shoes. Yes. So he is on it. He's very talented. And I like that, I guess, just Roscoe and the detective are really embracing him. Yeah. I mean, definitely the first episode, there was a lot of tension and yeah. pushback, but obviously he was a suspect then. I think at this point now, the chief detective and Roscoe know their best shot is to work with Reacher. Yeah, and obviously Reacher's good at what he does and he does have some information as much as it was probably annoying that he didn't share what he learned in prison, it all came about now. Yeah, and also on, on the flip side, Reacher keeps going about things thinking that he could just, you know, do everything himself. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure he can to some degree, but we had an example in this episode where when he tried to confront the um, security guard, Spivey, or, Spivey or something, and then those two South American military soldiers came up. Yeah. The plan didn't go well. No. Like nothing ha came from it. And if he would have had Roscoe or the chief there or something, that would have probably ended up way differently and they probably would have gotten a lot more information. Yeah, and it's difficult because they don't really know who to trust at this point. I mean, I think there's kind of an idea of who they can trust and who they can't, but I'm sure there's still more people involved. Yeah. And it is such a small town that they don't have that many people to begin with. And also, you know, the police are kind of limited to what they can kind of do without red tape, mm -hmm. whereas Reacher can kind of just do whatever the hell he wants yeah. without any real repercussion. <laughs> it's definitely a shift with how things were from the first episode. We see the Chief and Reacher starting to try to analyze and think about things together. Mm -hmm. We see the working relationship and the romantic relationship maybe of Roscoe and Reacher mm -hmm. evolving. Yeah. From the very beginning, I like their dynamic. I, I reference it towards like King Kong and whatever the girl's name is in King Kong. <laughs> so that's just, it just always reminds, I don't know if everyone is just small in this show or if Reacher's just that big. I think he's huge, but I'm sure they also casted a lot of tiny people. Or they're always shooting other people with like a downward angle and, and then Reacher's him, always like, at, yeah. at it. So. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's great. I'm loving the dynamic between the characters and I feel like there's a lot of mystery while still getting a lot of information. Obviously the new mayor making himself chief and you know sending the detective on a wild goose chase and wanting reacher out of town obviously he's a bad guy yeah obviously the guy who stood up i forgot teal i think teal or something like that i don't know the main guy he's got to be running everything he's got to yeah. be the head boss and his sons obviously have involvement to an extent and then them bringing in like those teenagers that reacher just broke all of their arms <laughs> oh, yeah. so there's a lot going on and i feel like we still have so much more to learn and how this is all tangled up and everything but i think they're doing a good job like you said of keeping some mystery while still giving us enough answers to keep us interested in what's happening. And I'm sure there's probably going to be plenty of crazy twists as yeah. well, too. Yeah. So I'm really enjoying all aspects of it. The action scenes, still badass. Again, he just, you know, like you said, broke all those kids' arms. Uh, you know, the the fight with the, the two military soldiers. And I liked yeah. how, like, they were holding up pretty well against Reacher, whereas yeah. everyone else is just been getting dominated. Right. But that was a plot in the actual episode. Like, yeah because they held up so well means that they are ex-military. Right, he knew where they came from. And then we also got to see kind of how graphic this show would get. Yeah. Um, obviously, we're on Amazon. We've watched The Boys, which is pretty graphic. Yeah, very graphic as well. Um, but we hadn't seen anything quite crazy. I mean, the fight scenes are are cool. They're like brutal. Like They're, with yeah. like bones breaking. And like even the eye gouging was pretty intense. Yeah. Uh, but it wasn't gory or anything yeah. like this. So it was just kind of this like anticipation of like, okay, how far are we going to go? And now like- Pretty far. Pretty far, pretty <laughs> freaking far. <laughs> and uh, so what the hell could happen in these next couple of episodes? Because anyone could just get brutally tortured and murdered and so- Put up on a wall. Yeah, nailed up to a wall. And so the stakes are very, very high. Yeah. Kind of like you said, there's a lot of people involved mm -hmm. still. I still pretty much only know Roscoe, Reacher, and Paul. And I'm not even quite confident if his name is Paul. Yeah, you kept saying Paul. I was going along with it. So Not sure if that's his name. And then we have Head Detective. Right, Chief Detective. Don't know what his name is. Somebody's name I think is Finley. 
Lee? But I think that was Roscoe talking about someone else in her past or something. Oh. Even, oh, Joe. I know Joe is Reacher's brother. Yes. It always takes me a while yeah. to get names. I know. And with the short season, I think there's only like eight episodes. It'll probably be like episode seven but where, I, where I know name. everyone's name. But at least I can, you know, when I see like the kids who are always driving around the truck, I know who they are. I yeah. don't know who their, what their names are. Yeah. So. It takes a while. And then obviously we don't want to like Google it because I don't want anything to pop up that ruins the show. Yeah. So. If I try to look up someone's like name and I find out that they're in like two episodes. Yeah. Then it's like, okay, well, they're dead yeah. after two episodes. Yeah. But there are a lot of moving pieces. Mm -hmm. But it's still, it's still relatively easy to kind of stay focused and stay along. Yeah. No, it's a really enjoyable show so far. I really like it. Obviously, we haven't read the books. I haven't seen the movies. I don't know if you've seen the I think movies. I've seen, I think there's two, and I've only seen the first one. I don't remember much. I remember liking it, but nothing stuck with me. Yeah, so this is all kind of new territory for us, and I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, and I think my favorite aspect, too, is how much did it shine with Reacher's kind of ability to analyze crime scenes and stuff. Mm -hmm. Especially the moment that blew me away was he started talking about the <laughs> where the moon the angle would be of the moon. and how, you know, certain areas in the brush would be darker or yeah. lighter depending on that. So I think it's gonna get very complex, mm -hmm. a lot of twists and turns, and I think it's only gonna get more graphic and violent as the as the season goes on. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to trying to kind of piece this together. Yeah. As Reacher's piecing it together. Yeah. Uh, the more that we learn, the more characters we get to know. So I'm liking this a lot. Yeah, me too. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.